We're very excited to welcome Marianne Barkhouse's new sculptural commission, Namaxila, and it's a very important work that recognizes Marianne's international stature as a sculptor. It tells a story that relates not only to the museum, but to her family history and some of the objects that are in our collection. The story that inspired this particular piece of work uh, was one that my grandfather told me many years ago and it concerned a time that he helped a wolf get across a particularly um, treacherous stretch of water out on the northwest coast somewhere uh, between the mainland and Vancouver Island. Further to that I started thinking about what does it take for someone to help a wolf and not only help a wolf but let it get into a boat with them and take it to shore. That's a, a huge leap of faith. So I thought it took a lot of independent thought and it took a lot of compassion for other living things. The work relates to uh, the museum's permanent collection of historical objects from her family, from the Kwagyulth community. And it also uh, show, really demonstrates uh, Marianne's mastery of um, a variety of materials and how beautifully they work together aesthetically. I went back to some traditional materials. The copper, for example, uh, has a huge cultural significance for the Kwagyul people. It's a symbol of um, wealth, uh, of power, and I think also because of its conductive nature, there's a continuity issue with, with that as well. Uh, on top of which, I just love the life cycle that both copper and bronze um, have because they do have a life that they change over time, and I think that's in a really important part to to my art practice now as far as um, the narrative that I want to develop with these works as time progresses. A lot of artists, when they get a piece cast at a foundry, have the foundry do the patina. For me, that would be, say, like, that's the most fun part. I do that myself. It is magic once you do it. You have to get into the Zen moment because it's, it's a very um, complicated process, but something that is so rewarding. Namaxala, Marianne Barkhouse's sculpture, enters the collection after a long history by the museum of collecting and actually commissioning contemporary Aboriginal art over the past 40 or 50 years. When I saw this wolf in a boat, I thought, how unique. I'd love to learn more about it. And when you've been given an opportunity to give to something so worthwhile, we, we had no choice but to say yes. This is actually the very first major piece that we've donated outside of Manitoba. So it had that very original appeal, mostly because it was unbelievable, and today the unbelievable became a reality. And I think it's one of the most meaningful pieces of art that I've ever seen. I love it. <laughs>